Awards for Excellence in Architecture. The jury recognized NASA's sustainability base by William McDonough and Partners with an honorable mention. The jury recognized five projects with merit awards. The Brooks Family YMCA by VMDO Architects takes a building type that is often underfunded and elevates it as a model for service to the public through design. The program is intelligently organized and the open, cheerful building features generous natural light and a strong facade. The University of Chicago's Campus North Residences and Dining by Hanbury sets an ambitious goal for a dormitory, creating circulation hubs with encouraging environments for residents to interact in meaningful ways. There is an ephemeral quality to the Institute for Contemporary Art at the Markell Center by BCWH Architects that has a captivating quality both inside and out. It draws visitors in for a transcendent experience enveloped in art. The KIPP Columbus Battelle Environmental Center by Flansburg Architects elevates the program of a learning center by adding transparency to an agrarian vernacular. There is an incredible efficiency to its singular gesture to create clarity, restraint, and an openness to the landscape. Smith Group's Stephen A. Levin Building for Neural and Behavioral Sciences at the University of Pennsylvania tackles a complex program while also expressing a clear functional and aesthetic hierarchy to its site, context, scale, and treatment of the facade. The jury recognized one project with an award of honor. The jury was enamored by Hayes Ewing Design Studios Lewis and Clark Exploratory Center's elegance of detail and deep respect for its context. The project achieves a striking balance with a strong form that remains deferential to its landscape and should be commended for the difficulty inherent in this achievement. Awards for Excellence in Contextual Design the jury recognized two projects with merit awards. The Farmstead at the American Revolution Museum by Steam and Peace Architecture sits beautifully within the context and history of the area. There is a timelessness to the materials and building techniques that is still relevant today. Everything about the Minokin ghost structure by Reed Freeman Architect, including its design, execution, and mission was admirable. The project bridges historic ways of building with a striking aesthetic form in the landscape on a tight budget. Awards for Excellence in Historic Preservation The jury recognized Glave and Holmes Architecture's colonnade renovation at Washington and Lee University with a merit award. Expressing a deep appreciation for the complexity of the project, the renovation is a clear model for preservation projects that look toward the future while respecting their original use. And the honor award recipient is the United States Capitol's Historic Dome Restoration by Hoffman Architects Incorporated. Its research and technical practice is a model that serves as a testament to the relevance and importance of the discipline of historic preservation. Awards for Excellence in Interior Design The jury awarded three projects with awards of merit. The design of Play & Company by PMA Architecture is impressively attentive to scale, detail, economic solutions, and use of color in a bold but not patronizing way. Children are taken seriously in this space and serve to benefit from its intelligent attention to design. The renovation on Cox's Row by Robert M. Gurney, FAIA architect, harmoniously melds historical detailing with modern insertions. There is an uncompromising level of detail throughout, creating a sequence of rooms to be appreciated by its residents. The School of Music and Concert Hall at Liberty University by VMDO Architects expresses a consistently high level of detailing throughout its spaces. The use of natural light inside the concert hall is a refreshing and bold element. Awards for Excellence in Residential Design 
the jury selected two projects for merit awards. The Manifold House, by David Jameson Architect Incorporated, is admirable for the boldness of a strong architectural idea and execution that expresses the tenacity of its client and architect. West End Residence, by architecture firm, is an inviting and livable project that achieves a sculptural form through material restraint. The framing of the landscape invites the exterior into each room of the house. AIA Virginia recognizes delegate Betsy Carr in Style Weekly magazine with AIA Virginia honors. Since 2009, delegate Betsy Carr has served portions of Richmond and Chesterfield in the Virginia House of Delegates. As a member of the Appropriations, Transportation, General Laws, and Rules Committees, she has a great deal of oversight over legislation and policy impacting the practice of architecture in the Commonwealth. Delegate Carr has long been a legislator that engages regularly with the profession. She has been a vital partner in AIA Virginia's government advocacy efforts. She understands how the principles of qualifications-based selection embedded in the Virginia Public Procurement Act protect the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the Commonwealth. And she has been a true champion for those principles in her work in the General Assembly. For more than a quarter century, Style Weekly has both promoted and critiqued the works of Virginia architects, and in the process, heightened the awareness among the general public of the importance and impact of design on our lives, our communities, and our world. Since 1992, Style Weekly, principally through the writings of its architecture critic, Ed Slipek, has provided in-depth coverage of individual buildings, architects, firms, and architectural trends and styles. They have lauded good design, and duly criticize those designs that have not met the highest standards. Readers, many architects among them, may not always agree with the magazine's position, but its articles have generated discussions regarding the built environment that otherwise would likely not have occurred. For their work as advocates for architectural excellence in the Commonwealth, AIA Virginia awards Style Weekly and the Honorable Betsy Carr with AIA Virginia Honors. AIA Virginia confers honorary membership upon Elizabeth Toon. In her current role as Director of Division of Preservation Incentives with Virginia's Department of Historic Resources, Elizabeth works closely with property owners, design teams, and division staff throughout the Commonwealth to help preserve Virginia's architectural history. Notably, her work on the Historic Rehabilitation Tax Credit Program has resulted in approximately $5 billion of investment. She has also instituted a comprehensive revision of the Historic Preservation Easement Program to reflect current land conservation and historic preservation laws and best practices. She also helps to advise preservation partners, such as the National Park Service and Preservation Virginia, in the development of policy and guidance on the treatment of historic resources. For her work to preserve Virginia's rich architectural legacy, AIA Virginia bestows honorary membership on Elizabeth Toon. AIA Virginia presents two individuals with the 2018 Virginia Emerging Professional Award. For nearly 15 years, Kevin Jones, AIA, has pursued rigorous design work, robust community engagement, and mentorship of young designers. As a member of the leadership team for AIA Blue Ridge, and as a current and former member of design focus groups like Beer and Design and Modern Richmond, Kevin has made elevating the understanding of the value of architecture an integral part of his extracurricular pursuits. Kevin works to introduce real-world scenarios 
and community-focused experiential learning opportunities into his courses at Virginia Tech. In the studio, this is apparent through his design-build collaborations with the music department and through the introduction of client voices to studio critiques. Over the last year, Kevin has also been faculty co-leader of the Malawi Studio, a vertically integrated studio of undergraduate and graduate students working collaboratively with faculty to realize a singular work, a new campus library for the University of Mzuzu in Malawi, Africa. A director at Three North, Erin Webb, AIA, established the firm's residential studio, where she leads a five-member team. In her time with Three North, she has embraced notable historic restorations of Bottomley, Duncan Lee, and Baskerville residences, along with the current renovation and landscape transformation of the Rice House, a mid-century modern landmark by Richard Neutra. With more than a hundred residential projects to her credit, Erin's award-winning work ranges in scale from estate master plans to casework details. Throughout her career, Erin has been a passionate advocate for mentorship and community service. In 2012, she was honored with the inaugural Richard L. Ford, Jr. FAIA Award for her personal contributions as co-chair of AIA Richmond's Young Architect and Intern Forum which provides networking and mentorship programs for emerging design professionals. For upholding and advocating for the ideals of the profession, AIA Virginia recognizes Kevin Jones and Aaron Webb with the Virginia Emerging Professional Award. AIA Virginia recognizes Manoj Dalaya, AIA, with the 2018 Award for Distinguished Achievement. A founder and principal with KGD Architecture, Manoj Dalaya has long asserted that a well-designed green building must be life-enhancing and healthy in addition to being resource efficient. He ensured that the firm connected high-performance building with human well-being long before this approach was more universally adopted by the profession. Manoj's portfolio, taken as a body of work, stands as evidence that design leadership can bring even the most restrictive programs and clients to a more sustainable, green, healthy result. The profession benefits from such precedents as the deceptively radical 2000 Tower Oaks Boulevard building, a subject for researchers who have studied how Manoj combined ancient Vedic principles with high technology resulting in both an uplifting workplace and one of the D.C. area's first LEED Platinum office buildings. For his work as a national leader in the development of high-performance office campuses that address the nation's most pressing security and infrastructure challenges, AIA Virginia presents Manoj Delia with the Award for Distinguished Achievement. AIA Virginia presents the 2018 T. David Fitzgibbon Firm Award to MTFA Architecture. For 25 years, MTFA has had a profound impact on the architectural profession by thoughtfully shaping people's lives through design excellence throughout Virginia and beyond. Members of the firm are exemplary citizen architects and have led the American Institute of Architects with two presidents of AIA Northern Virginia, a president of AIA Virginia, a board member of the Branch Museum, and numerous AIA committee founders and chairs. Consistency of philosophy and mission has profoundly shaped the architectural story of each of their employees and clients. They have impacted culture, commerce, and community and in doing so, have made Virginia and the world a more meaningful place. They have been mentors to students inside and outside the office with amazing dedication and new programs like the annual inter-school design competition for architecture students. Their history 
design awards, and publications testify to the enormous potential for using the AIA, their clients, and the community as a vehicle to promote connections that reinforce tomorrow's leadership and inspire the creation of a better built environment. The 2018 Architecture Medal for Virginia Service goes to Reginald N. Jones. Reggie Jones' decades of support for the profession of architecture and its practitioners, coupled with his tireless efforts to protect qualifications-based selection in the Commonwealth, has protected the health, safety, and welfare of generations of citizens and has served as a model nationwide. Jones helped shepherd the adoption of the Virginia Public Procurement Act based on the Brooks Act and has proven to be a tireless advocate for QBS for professional services. Jones is an invaluable resource on legislative matters extending well beyond his scope of services. Jones has more than 40 years of legal experience representing clients before the Virginia General Assembly and the agencies of state government. His work at Williams Mullen specializes in government relations, healthcare, professions, technology, financial institutions, and energy. Active in a number of business, community, and civic organizations, he is a founding member of the Virginia Early Childhood Foundation's Board of Directors and has served since 2006. For his contributions to the community, and a career of advocacy for Virginia's built environment and the profession of architecture, AIA Virginia awards the Architecture Medal for Virginia service to Reggie Jones. The 2018 William C. Noland Medal goes to Jack Davis, FAIA. Jack Davis has been a leader in architecture for more than 40 years, representing the profession on the national and international stage. His insightful impact on the profession through service to the AIA and the International Council for Research and Innovation in Building and Construction has blended his professional and academic experiences to the benefit of the future of the profession in a most profound way. Jack served as president of AIA Virginia during its centennial year. In doing so, he laid out a vision for the next 100 years through his development of the Virginia Accord. The Accord and Affiliated Symposium gave the opportunity for professionals across the Commonwealth to affirm their commitment to the environment, economy, sustainability, and quality of life of all Virginians. Jack has been an integral part of the professional degree programs at Virginia Tech for more than 30 years. For most of his 11 years as Dean of the College of Architecture and Urban Studies at Virginia Tech, Design Intelligence has ranked the program within the top five in the country and once earning the top position. Jack's career has been a tapestry of constructive research design, education, public service, and professional practice. For his selfless leadership and tireless service to the advancement of the profession and practice of architecture, AIA Virginia presents Jack Davis with the 2018 William C. Noland Medal.